Where's he at? Holy! Oh, oh my God! Hey, yo, everyone! Welcome back to another Terraria and Minecraft video. Now we are checking out a mod that we checked out in one of the original videos, but the mod dev saw the video and he was like, "Let me get my grind on. Let me turn this mod into something great." And this is the outcome so far. You know, it's still a work in progress, and it looks great. They added in a bunch of trees. They added in a bunch more stuff. We're gonna check out a bunch of stuff today. Hopefully, we don't miss anything. We probably will. But uh, just by walking around a little bit here in the uh, test world provided by the mod dev we can see we got some slimes and they got that minecraft feel to them but they got that terraria color even though there is green slimes in terraria but yeah let's go ahead let's just let's just beat the slime real quick just 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 for the one time we got some listen to that you hear those noises that i don't know if that's a terraria noise i don't really pay attention to noises sometimes but i'm pretty sure it is and look at this which is beating beating the hell out of these slimes oh we dropped a coin and if you look in the top right we got our coin count right there 50 copper and then we got the silver gold and platinum but yeah let's head back over here to the showcase area and uh, i keep like jumping because i have auto jump on let me turn auto jump off you know if you're an og minecraft player you don't be playing with auto jump it's just plain and simple unless you got carpal tunnel or something all right but yeah here we are i don't know what these balls are oh a horrible chill goes down your spine okay that's what those balls are uh let's not break all of them let's break one more there you go screams echo around you damn we got a musket so one thing i will point out right away is that our character doesn't show up i don't know what's up with that but we got a ball of hurt and we got a musket bro you know i gotta take shots with the musket come here boom get destroyed was that a one tap but yeah i'm gonna pull up another slime we'll pull up on the rabbit and then we got the ball of hurt look how long it takes for the ball of hurt to come up all right where are you he's trying to run come here oh look at that what the yo that's sick you know flails in uh 1.4 they're getting reworked to be like pretty useful or at least you know cooler than before same thing with uh short swords but yeah that is sweet that it does that that's very awesome we got a nice little cave right here and uh so far you know just checking out this mod with the first couple of items it's amazing it's amazing so far and these trees look really cool terraria theme ones rather than the minecraft ones these thick ones but yeah we got those items let's go ahead let's look at some of the stuff you set up here you got the workbench right this is a workbench now i don't know how to activate it i'm trying to like right click on it nothing's happening same thing with the furnace right clicking nothing's happening maybe these are still just work in progress we got the demon altar we got the, the anvil maybe it's a proximity crafting thing so if you just stand near these you can now craft items i don't know all right here we are we're in the creative menu i figured out how to open it uh, i think it was the letter n let's hope that stays the same and let's look through a bunch of stuff here and see what we can find that was added and then we'll just go over everything like that we are playing in version 1.14 so there you go there's that knowledge if you need it and let's see here oh here we go we got a bunch of items here let's go ahead let's just grab some you know we got gold bars gel but let's see these uh watches here i don't know how we place these in our inventory how does this work all right i think i figured it out boom we got some watches do these do anything i have no idea oh look i threw it into my regular inventory perfect that's how you do it boom hit the letter m we got the watches do they do anything specifically do i have to put them on like an accessory which one are accessories this is this one right boom 10 a.m thank you is that the real life time nope because why would it be minecraft in real life time to correlate like that all right next up i got a bunch of more accessories here we got present obsidian skull hermes boots cloud in a bottle band of regen and depth meter let us go ahead let's drop them and hopefully they end up in our other inventory yep all right which one are we trying first here let's go ahead let's try the depth meter level 113 boom we drop down it goes to 112 where's that cave at let's go to that cave over here boom it just goes down it's ex exactly what you expect if i stand like on a slab i'm assuming it'll say like 1.12.5 all right next up sir can you get out of here actually kill him with this it's cooler when you kill him with that uh let's go ahead let's check out our next accessory here um we can wear multiple at once so might as well check it out so boom i put that on let me go into survival you know i'm still used to typing in game mode one i don't know it's just like burned into my mind to type game mode one but let's see double jump oh we still can't see our character but look at that we're definitely double jumping it's got a little noise listen little snow noise so i'm about to jump on this tree boom okay i think we probably could have jumped on the tree regularly because you know terraria terraria characters they got a very nice vertical i gotta give it to them all right next up here hermes boots i'm gonna go ahead and take off these other accessories just in case they want to interrupt anything um band of regen we know that does slowly regens you but let's see the hermes boots oh look at this this is like soul speed in the nether update all right hit me hit me what the hell is that noise you hear that what the heck is that noise hit me he's like a rabbit like stuck in the floor or something oh 
Come on, you gotta hit me more than that. I wanna see the regen. Okay. Okay. Boom. Let's see the regen. Slow regen. Go ahead. Boom. They weren't lying when they said it was slow. All right, next up, present. Come on, give me something good. Okay, maybe these don't even work yet. Wait, right click to open. Ah, there you go. It does work. 648 dirt. That's always what I've wanted. It's on my wish list on Amazon. All right, and last but not least, we got the obsidian skull here. All right, we got some lava here. Boom. Put the skull on. Nope, not in the garbage. Put it on. Get rid of the fire. This is supposed to grant immunity to fire block. So let's see here. All right, I mean, it still makes a noise. Oh, no, I'm definitely still burning. My health is going down. Uh, maybe it just doesn't work yet. I'm gonna hop in the lava. Okay, <laughs> I don't think it works yet. But yeah, here's all the other things. Like I said, work in progress mod. There's still a bunch of stuff that still needs to be worked on, especially if they're trying to add in most of the Terraria content. That's a lot of content, especially with 1.4 around the corner. That's a lot of content. Yeah, there's some bars and stuff in here that you can see. Oh, we got the spawns. We'll worry about the spawns later. Let's look at the tools. Let's get a nice look at the tools here. Let's see what we got. We got the iron pickaxe. Like it has all this information, very fast speed, very weak knockback, blah, 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 pickaxe power. And then we got the copper stuff. We got the war axe of the night, the magic mirror, ice mirror. Let's go ahead. Let's take a magic mirror. We got the molten ham axe, the molten pickaxe, the cactus pickaxe, golden pickaxe, you know, gold stuff, silver stuff, wooden stuff, pwn hammer. And let us go ahead and see the weapons too. We got us iron broadsword, iron short sword. So there's short sword and broadswords. Um, I'm wondering why the copper broadsword looks so different from the broadsword. Who knows? Uh, we got the wooden sword in here. Here. we got goggles can i put this on will it actually show up on my character i don't know uh what else we got a bunch of weapons here we got the bow now my question is does the bow work like a terraria bow or does it work like a minecraft bow all right let's see does it work like a minecraft bow oh no nah, it works like a old well old minecraft bow i would say this is pretty much a terraria bow now since minecraft bows aren't like this anymore let's go ahead let's see the magic mirror and goggles in action let me see if i pop the magic mirror that's kind of fucking terrifying. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I mean, am I near the spawn at least? I have to be near the spawn. Yeah, we're here. Look at that. As you can see, when I have, you know, materials in my inventory, you know, we could actually craft some stuff, which is very, very cool. I like that a lot. You know, craft some torches. Bombada bing. We got the goggles. Can I actually put these on or not? Uh, where would they go? There? Do they show up? Nope. No, honestly, I just expected a pair of floating goggles. All right, we got some more weapons here. I'm not going to check out every single one, at least the ones that I think are going to be repetitive. Let's test out the bomb here. Maybe the grenade. A little bit less dangerous. There you go. Nice. Oh, look, he dropped a heart. Um, so obviously grenades don't blow up stuff. Let's test out the bomb. Are bombs on contact? No, they, they work just like terrier bombs. Roll around and break blocks. Look at that. Next up, shurikens. Spam these at them. Oh, nice. Okay. Throwing playthrough. You know, if you guys don't know, follow my Twitch. I have been doing a final throwing playthrough before 1.4 comes out. Next up, Vile Thorn. Who doesn't love the Vile Thorn? Go ahead. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at that. Boom. Oh my God. That's sweet. That's sweet. Can I hit it from here? Oh, look at the range. What about from like up here? Oh my God. What is the range of this thing? I'm actually kind of interested. Does it not shoot out? There's no like, oh wait, no, it does shoot out sometimes. Next up, we got the lights bane. Uh, there's that rabbit noise. The rabbit suffocating to that somewhere. Boom, just a stronger sword. I don't know why I even showed this off. All right, the next set of stuff, wooden armor. Can I put this on? I keep shift clicking and it keeps on throwing everything away. Uh, that's my bad, I keep forgetting. But if I put this on, go into survival, do we have defense? Yes, two defense right there in the bottom, okay. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's test out the boomerang, the phoenix blaster and the imp staff. I don't know which one of these works and which ones don't boomerang okay nice it's exactly what you expect to do or a boomerang to do does it pick up items okay it does didn't really expect that because it doesn't do it in terrain. all right let's test out the phoenix blaster now which is i'm assuming just a projectile pistol yep exactly what you expected to do and then let's see the imp staff this is what i'm interested in this is what i'm very interested in let's pull up on the slime right here imp summon do you see it i can't even see myself imp Go! Imp! Get him! Okay, it doesn't work yet. I don't think it does. Wait a minute. I just saw something flying around me. Look, is that a piglin? <laughs> Is that a piglin model as an imp? You got like a piglin face. Hey, what's up? You uh, you took a little while to get to me. Let's see if we can put you in action here. Um, I'm gonna attack something. And I want you to attack it. Oh, is it gone? Oh man. All right, quick. Let me test the uh, molten fury and the hellfire arrows. Oh, he's back again. You know, what's up? Just gonna test this out. See how fast these other bows shoot. Um, I guess just shoot at this guy. Okay. This is the hellfire arrows, I think. And then let's try the jester arrows. 
Okay, I think this bow, no matter what, turns arrows into uh, fire arrows. Oh, look at the imp. He's doing he's doing his job as an imp. Look at him. He's just finding all the hostiles and getting rid of them. Nice. All right, we're here in the potion section. Obviously, there's potions. Don't know if these all work. Not going to go through all of them. I'll just go through, like, I don't know, one of them. Let's just pop a swiftness potion and a night owl. You know, see if that works. Boom, night owl. Okay, I think it works. I don't know. Things did get brighter. Uh, and then swiftness. Boom. Can we run faster? Sure, let's just, let's just take the word on it. So looking through all this stuff that looks like everything so far in terms of items now let's go ahead and check out the bosses here i might have to leave the world to get rid of this uh summon because i don't know if i want the summon messing with everything i'm looking if there's spawn eggs or if i do have to use the actual spawners for it and it looks like i do have to use the actual spawners which is all good so we have the wall of flesh and then we have oh wait we have the banner star power right here too if you didn't see that mana crystals shadow orbs a bunch of stuff that i just kind of glossed over <laughs> we got the eye and and then we obviously got the eater right here if we break this last orb now i was told by the mod dev that i shouldn't summon in the uh wall flesh just because he's a little laggy right now oh we also got to check out the world too so maybe we will hold out on the wall flesh but let's see the eater let's see the eater boom the eater worlds has awoken where's he at holy shit that's terrifying that's on like some lycanite mobs type shit right there oh my god <laughs> This thing is just running around the world? This is horrifying. But there's the eater. I wonder what happens if we actually, you know, attack him and stuff. Like, will he will he take damage? Let me see. Let me just see right here. Like, can, can I hit him? Oh, I don't know if that flail is going to hit him. Okay. Oh, there you go. We got some shots on him. Does he actually split up? That's what I'm interested in. What is happening? Maybe switch to the musket. Might be easier with the musket. Um, remember work in progress keep that word in your head a lot of mods and stuff that I check out usually works in progress there's bound to be bugs oh he did split he did split i don't know if i want to sit here and have a eater of worlds boss fight um in terraria or minecraft <laughs> so i don't think i'm gonna does he just follow me around looks like he follows me around so i might have to that or i switch to peaceful but you see the like slime ball shooting out of him they got the expert eater in here all right i summoned the imp to help me kill the eater and the imp crashed the game when trying to kill the eater it's all good at least the eater is gone and as you can see he dropped demonite all right before we summon the eye of cthulhu let's let's just let's look at some of the biomes over here um the game feels a little jittery now there's a little jitter going on a little lagginess going on but look at this oh we got the little the little ice spikes over here aka snow biome whatever you want to call it we got the corruption i'm not trying to move it too much because i legit don't know what's happening there's like a weird jitter going on we got the desert over here which has like a weird looking grid on it but then when you get closer the grid on the blocks kind of just disappear don't know what's up with that we got a nice little open forest area here and then we got another corruption this kind of feels more like the corruption with all this like random stuff sticking out of the floor and there's probably some more biomes somewhere else i don't know i'm gonna try and restart my game and hopefully this like frame rate bug fixes itself all right so sadly i'm still having the problem you know a long time ago i was gonna do a video on this the same exact mod because the mod updated a bit and the mod didn't want me to do a video on it but i was having this problem where it would do this weird stutter all the time and and, you know, it was fine during the video, but now it's just ever since the Eater Worlds crash, <laughs> this stutter is happening. I don't know if you guys can even see it on OBS. I don't know. It might just be a me thing. But yeah, let's summon in the eye. Boom. Do we have to be touching the floor? Oh, maybe it has to be nighttime. Boom. 1500. I Cthulhu has awoke. Oh my God. Ew. This is his sprite. His sprighting is not the greatest. Like, look at the miniature ones. The miniature ones look good. But then you look at the big boy and it just looks like a picture. It just looks like a picture. This is my criticism on that. But uh, we got the eye of Cthulhu here in my minecraft very terrifying and last but not least let's see the eater worlds and see if it crashes my game. excuse me maybe i gotta kill that how, how long do you think it takes to kill this dude oh he transformed ew <laughs> this is scary this does this does not look like the eye of cthulhu in terms of uh the striding work this looks like the, the horror of cthulhu this is terrifying he's doing his little uh, dash attack here and uh, he gets up in your face a lot it's kind of hard to deal with in minecraft i don't know if they all just you know have their expert attacks like he's doing like crazy amounts of dashes right now so i'm assuming they all just have their expert attacks like the um, eater of worlds was spitting at us you know doing his little expert thing and then the the eye is obviously dashing like a lot so what the wall flesh is gonna be super fast i don't know we're gonna check out the wall flesh there we go we killed it what is that noise what the fuck shut up oh look at this we got some nighttime enemies spawning oh see you later <laughs> now i don't know if there's like a, a hell biome like there was in that one mod that i didn't even check out in the video i'll uh, speak about that mod we gotta check out that mod again soon but yeah let's check out the guide voodoo doll here and see the wall flesh boom
Oh my god. Look at the size of this thing. This is terrifying. Like these aren't sprites. These are straight up pictures. And that is scary as hell. Oh my god. He's summoning hungry and stuff. Okay. I was told that this guy kind of lags your game. I can see why he would lag your game. Uh, the hungry are just kind of just shooting out here. Do you just shoot at him? How would the game even know you're shooting at him? Like how would it detect that? Do I got to kill like the hungry first and then I can shoot at him. Oh, you can then shoot at him. This is scary. Where's his other eye at? Can I shoot at his mouth? Oh, I can't shoot at his mouth. I don't know how long this would take, but this, this is just terrifying. Just the sight of this is terrifying. What if I just like went past him? I could go past him. You're looking at me. You got your eyes on me, but what if I just went over here? What, what are you going to do then? You think he's going to grab me? I don't know. He ain't going to grab me. He ain't going to do nothing. I'm out of here. See you later, man. But yeah, we get the full size of him. They're not lying. He is a wall of flesh. Uh, hopefully in the future, these are actually, you know, sprited in the Terry style, right? Rather than just pictures that's probably my biggest gripe with the mod so far but uh oh look at this we got a nice what is this living wood tree i don't know if i should sit here and kill him i don't know how long this will take but i guess i'll attempt it oh we got him i don't know where he died at he died somewhere where do you think his items drop i have no idea how far away he was we just gotta look for it this is a whole this is a whole quest by itself to find the items okay i have no idea where he dropped the items i looked for a, a solid like five seconds there but yeah that was this terraria mod revisited um it was in one of the original videos we did so check out that video i don't know which one but yeah shout out to the mod dev ryo rama rio rama don't know how to pronounce your name sorry if i mess it up shout out to him you know he gave me a copy here and a world to test some things out on and the mod is still work in progress but the jump from the original video we showed the mod off in and this gigantic jump a lot of progress here the mod's gonna be great um my only thing is hopefully these sprites for the bosses get fixed up because they definitely aren't matching the terraria style at all they kind of just seem like images posted on you know minecraft sprites but it's understandable because or minecraft models but it's understandable because it's pretty hard to do modeling and spriting and all that and the bosses honestly have a more lycanite feel than they do a uh, terraria on minecraft feel and you guys know how i feel about the lycanites mob if you watch my rlcraft series but yeah thank you everyone for watching the video check out the mod one 1.4 is around the corner. I, I, I'll see y'all there. It's coming out soon.